when we first started Timber, even before that when I was a musician, I mean, uh, when I was based in Australia, I keep looking in the mirror and asking myself, what am I doing you know, in my life? I mean, you know, once I got into that situation, I never for once wanted to give up. All kinds of doubts here and there. Never once wanted to give up. For every entrepreneur, if you ask anyone, any businessman, they have mentors that, that help and support them and advise them. So I have my own, namely uh, Richard Yu from Yu and Sun. I've always credited him because he's been my supporter and my advisor and my mentor. Uh, in fact, he was the one who kind of nudged me to have a look at Timber at Substation and check out the garden because he was vacant. In the beginning, when we first started at Timber at the substation, it's actually hidden behind you know, the substation and, and frankly, quite a secluded area, of, even though it's part of town. I think we were very fortunate because the media picked up on the story of a musician. You know, I, I was a musician in the partnership, uh, wanting to start a venue because it's passionate about Singapore music, promoting Singapore bands. Uh, along the way, I think social media helped us a lot because that was sort of the start of the whole craze for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, later on Instagram. And then that really changed the whole dynamics because we didn't spend any money on advertising. It was really purely word of mouth. And there was a new word of mouth in, th in, in the world, which is social media. A business that has an ecosystem, so it's not just one thing. It's a few things working together. That to me is, is a mark of entrepreneurship because I think you need to be able to see one product and kind of relate it to another one and kind of have everything work together. And I think we also work on the principle of loyalty, integrity, and I really just be principled in our, our ways dealing with uh, musicians, with business associates, with uh, sponsors, people like that, you know. This reputation is everything in this very, 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 very small town. Uh, Barbershop was built to kind of promote more on the roots, blues, kind of related music. And it is a niche market, so we need to deal with it a bit differently. We need to uh, engage the audience because most of the audience in Singapore, especially the young ones, the young adults, they listen to a lot of the top 40s. Uh, they're not so much associated with, say, blues and jazz and things like that. So it is a challenge, but I think we've coped well with it. And it's all about re-strategizing businesses. I mean, you does, one, doesn't, one thing doesn't work or doesn't work as well as you want it, you find a way. If you think that there's luck, there's no luck. You have, it's about good ideas getting the support of people, and that's how we re-strategize for the bar barbershop. So I think the main message is never to give up, but be smart about it, to work with, be discerning to know who you're working with, choose the right partners, choose the right people to work with, um, and be able to manage people, be calm, be, be able to manage uh, other people, and also manage yourself.